Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the South Island Pied Oyster Catcher, the most abundance of their group in the country, with them being found on most estuaries. I hope you enjoy. Readily identifiable through the conspicuous black and white plumage and their long red bills, they are the most abundant oyster catcher species in New Zealand, with a population estimated at around 112,000 birds. They are solidly built, with them being around 46 centimetres long and weighing around 550 grams. They are distinguished from the related pied morph of the variable oyster catcher by possessing a white notch in front of the folded wing, usually being smaller as well if seen together. They also differ from the related pied oyster catcher of Australia by their longer bill and shorter legs. They are endemic to New Zealand, with them breeding inland on the South Island, after which most of the population moves to estuaries and harbours on the North Island. They have also been recorded occasionally as a vagrants on Norfolk and Lord Howe Islands, as well as the eastern coast of mainland Australia. Their non-breeding habitat includes coastal estuaries, beaches and sand flats. When breeding in spring and summer, they will migrate from these areas to inland rivers or farmland, and some have even been seen up in subalpine tundra environments. Their nests are shallow scrapes, either on a mound or raised area of sand, gravel or soil, with them laying one to three brown, blotched eggs with both parents sharing incubation. Birds incubate for 24 to 28 days, with the young once hatching being precocial and fledged six weeks after hatching. After this, birds can start breeding from the age of four or five, and can then live up to 27 years. They are also strong flyers and have highly ritualised displays. On the ground, they undertake loud piping displays to warn off other birds from their feeding and breeding areas. Their pair bonds are not maintained outside of the breeding season, although most birds retain their partner from one season to the next. Food-wise, they feed on mollusks, worms, and occasionally small fish, using their distinctive bills to probe into the muds or wet sands in which they live, and then prying or smashing the shells open to feed. These oyster catchers have done well in facing all the threats since introduced to New Zealand during the past few centuries of human habitation, including the introduction of mammalian predators, hunting by people until 1940 at least, and the invasion of braided riverbed nesting areas by introduced plants. Their further abundance may however still be threatened by land use changes in their breeding areas, pollution of their winter feeding areas, as well as increased disturbance to feeding and roosting birds at coastal sites. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Chesham Island Crested Penguin, extinct, recently described penguins that had been wiped out by human predation. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.